like this, though? and it's gone. And I'm thinking about getting the stone, but I didn't see it. But it looked really pretty, right? Okay, yes, yes, or totally. Or should I do the violet one? I liked both. I'm a little impartial to the lilac. Lilac. Let's talk cute tank tops, though. Okay. Because you could actually layer this underneath the Barefoot Dreams. Ooh, this Ooh. color. Okay, so this is logo by Lori Goldstein. Logo right. layers. Um, Lori Goldstein is like the most influential, influential, <laughs> um, wow, influential stylist probably in our history. When you oh. think of like the big glossy magazines, those iconic photos that have really shaped style and history, it was Lori was the stylist behind mm -hmm. them. Um, here's an opportunity. We love her collection here at QVC. And her longer tank tops for layering, for great oh, right. coverage, legging approved. This is a printed tie-dye tank top, and it's $39.72. Normally, it's 56 bucks. I love this tie-dye because it almost reads as a floral. I, th I see. That's it, what yeah, I thought I would it agree. was. I, I like, double-checked when you said tie-dye. It's like, is it? Yeah, it it's, says so. It's like in each flower, there's tie-dye. But there's like... Oh. I mean, seven, eight, maybe 12 colors in each one. Look, she is so, so masterful in blending colors. Right, like this is the green. Other. But look, there's even like Roy, there's olives, there's like a, a royal yeah, blue. You can there. pull in some of the Susan Graver, like Riverstone, more neutrals. So you can really, or you could pop the bright greens and yellows. Absolutely. Like you get to have a little fun with this. So that one is your green. Okay. Each family of colors becomes a chameleon. Here's the red, mm. right? So in the red, you've got rust, you have golds, you have a little bit of yellows. Even some even like soft pinks, baby pink. Like a lobster bisque bag Ooh. that if you got it, by if the way. If you got it. Really Before quick. Before it sold out, if you got <laughs> it. Right, isn't that pretty? Yeah, okay, it's gorgeous. And then I'm walking away with one more. I bet we're calling this black, but it's like black and everything mm, neutral. else. Neutral. Neutral, okay. So there is a lot of black, but do you notice in the grays, you also then have all of your beiges there's and your mocha taupes. in there. Yeah, it's really pretty. Charcoal. Oh, there's one more color. We have a blue color. And then the blue. Ooh, look at all those shades that's of blue. That's so pretty, but that's the most limited. There's fewer than 100. Oh, dear. If you want the blue, 39.72. If you want more than one, it's a good layering piece because of the length. But it's also really, really cute with the legging because of the coverage on the hip. Here, I can pop. I, can I pop can't pop on. them on. They're all extra, extra smalls. I'll pop one on quick. Not for me today. But do you see how you're seeing it fit? It's a really classic tank. You're getting nice coverage in the arms and on the back. It doesn't cut in too far. And then because of that length right over the hips, Ooh. if you love A-lines, you will be singing this top's praises from the mountains like any on your gondola. On your gondola, whether you're going up the mountain or through the canals. Um, so she's famous for this fit that she does where mm -hmm. it has that perfect fit in the bust. It's very bra friendly, um, which I always appreciate. She gives us perfect armholes. She's like very meticulous about it. But whether you like a lounge bra, like the anti proof one that we have coming up or a more traditional bra, it's gonna be great because you have this drape that drapes over it, but then you get this release and you get the length. So she's the queen of layer she's the queen of many things apparently as i'm saying today this oh look how cute cute but you know look what? at the length at, on okay. it i have a tank on too just for like changing ease but look at the fit of this tank like do you see the coverage in the neck and mm -hmm. the coverage on the arm it's really good on its own it's not too slender it's giving me the coverage like right in here which i really appreciate and then it just kind of floats across but if you layer another tank or a little t-shirt, you also have that extra length, right. which is a bonus. So I, I also think, think about that this when we go into fall and we're going into like chunky sweaters that are going out over that. And then you have the cute little pop of the color uh, popping out <laughs> Kathy underneath. Said, it looks really good with your shorts or crab thingamajiggies. <laughs> Great, Kathy. <laughs> Great. Clam diggers. I wish, you know what I wish? I wish we had the technology live in the show to do a poll. Oh, we could and then I could we could ask you at could. home like what you call them. Right, that's probably true. not crab things. <laughs> long, <laughs> Kathy long, says, short, long short says Kathy. I'm sticking with pedal, the pedal pusher. Pedal pusher. Pedal pusher. We're not even t selling these right now. Um, We're not. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I like too is they work really well with the legging. I went to Bible study this morning mm -hmm. and then I was going for my training run after. So I didn't really want to get fully dressed. I was like, oh, I'm just going to wear my leggings and like a longer sweater, right? right? Because that's the thing. A lot of times with leggings, we want to make sure we have something have that, that still covers the, the bum and in, and in the, the front. And now I'm 5'1". A day I think is like 5'9". I think so. So she's, you know, but she's, it's a little shorter, but it's still covering her 
her bum. FBC is what I like to call it. Full bum coverage. Did you see me trying to figure out what that meant? You're like FBC. F um, did you said was Doritos your pick in your shore bag? No, it wasn't. But I mean, they would. But be you included. support that. I very what much. What would your so. pick be? Uh, I think it would be deviled eggs. Really? I love deviled eggs. Oh. Everyone's shocked by that. Is that gross? She I just, asked, it's, Kathy is it's, asking how many I could eat in one outing. You know, well, Violet just started making her own deviled four, eggs. Six? Do you put there's, like, there's do like you all sorts special? of different fun ways to do it. Sometimes I mix in uh, with the yolk of uh, avocado. Oh. What if, and then like what some about a little horseradish? In there? Radish. I will put horseradish on my pancakes. Like I love horseradish. Okay, maybe not. But maybe. I love horseradish so much. I wouldn't. Maybe like a crepe, like a savory crepe pancake. Oh, okay, I would. okay, okay. Some, some you know smoked salmon. Yeah, I would do that. Oh, now I'm following. Uh, I but that, I was making it as a joke earlier. I know. Uh, there's all sorts of fun stuff you could put in. I like to put cumin mixed in there. A um, little curry powder, maybe. Okay. There's all sorts of ways to make deviled eggs. How devilish of you. Oh, and then I like to put like um, a little pancetta on top or a little ba bacon okay. to give it a little crisp. I do prefer angelic eggs. <laughs> just because deviled, it just... Deviled egg on this side and angelic egg on this side. It's just angel eggs. Okay, <laughs> um, this is the green choice. Here's your red. Neutral. Julie's got the neutral, and then the blue is really limited. This cut is stinking it's cute. It's really cute on you. Yeah, I think you need it. All right, one hour down. Two, two to, go. to go. What do we got coming up, Carrie? You show us.